an abundance of Braves all ready to receive their recognition for their efforts that this past season, a record-breaking season for this Atlanta Braves team in which they won 104 games and brought down all kinds of records on the offensive side of the ball. It was incredible to watch, and each and every one of them will get their just due. Incredible that Ronald Acuna Jr. has two tables worth of hardware. Appropriate, but incredible nonetheless. And it is Max Freed on the mound, CJ. And certainly looking forward to a big bounce back after that first start in Philadelphia. But you take a look at what he did last season. It was a fantastic year when he was out there. And a little interesting note here, a lot of soft contact, an average exit velocity under 87 miles an hour last season. That was the third best in the game. And Cattell Marte leads off the leadoff home run last night against Spencer Strider. Swing and a ball blasted. Deep left field. Kelnick turning, looking. That is way gone by Marte. Second consecutive game. It's a leadoff blast yesterday from the left side, today from the right. And it's 1-0 Diamondbacks. He's just been so much fun to watch play. In spring, I think he wanted the season to start after the first game of spring. He was that locked in, and he's carried that over. Orban knocks go. it into left field. Good start against Max Freed, who, remember, had that rocky first in Philly last time. And this one's off to a similar start. Tonight looking to get things back on track, but it started out with three consecutive Diamondback hits. A run home, first and second, no outs for Christian Walker. Walker with a base hit. That's four to start the game. They will wave Corbin Carroll. Kelnick's throw is not in time. The RBI for Christian. And it's 2-0. Another multi-run first for the Diamondbacks. Boy, is that good to see two of the guys that we highlighted in the open. They needed to pick it up, but they've done so already. Corbin Carroll with a hit to the opposite field. Now Christian Walker times that breaking ball perfectly and lines it in the left. No hesitation by Tony Paris Chica. You got to make somebody throw Corbin Carroll out. You got to think that Max Freed and the pitching coach Rick Kranitz are having flashbacks to last weekend in Philly. This is almost worse. Yeah. Five straight to reach to begin this ball game, and furthermore, it loads the bases with no one out. Randall Gritchick, free agent signee, just as spring training was getting underway. Swung on, broken bat liner towards the middle, backhanded by Albies, and nobody covering second, and he will just pocket the baseball. Guriel scores, everybody's safe, and an RBI single for Gritchick in his Diamondback debut. I mean, everything's kind of going right for the D-backs in this first inning. Crowd here trying to help lift Max Freed off the ropes. I think they're a little bit in shock. Off the glove of the gold glover. Arcia for one, cannot turn two. Walker is home and it's 4-0. Three gold gloves for Max Freed, and that one went off the leather. Gabby yeah, avoids the out at first. Well, here comes the number eight hitter in the lineup for the Diamondbacks, right fielder Jake McCarthy. First and third, one out. McCarthy Sit. lifts it up. Acuna coming in. He won't get there. It drops in for one more. Gino's home, and it's a five run first. Sometimes you got to talk to him. Yeah, sometimes they listen. Get down. Get down. Tell Marte, who for the second consecutive game hit a leadoff homer to get this inning started, bats for the second time in the first. Marte carves it up the line. That's a fair ball. It's in the corner, and here we go. McCarthy is home. Alexander at third. Marte with a home run and an RBI double in the first inning. As there's blood and feathers all over this top of the first inning. Well, they got three in the first last night. That wasn't enough. Tonight they're making sure that they get as many as they can here. Well, immediately when Max Freed got into the dugout, as you might expect, pitching coach Rick Kranitz went over to have a heart-to-heart -heart with the lefty. You can certainly see the frustration there on the face and kind of in the animations there of Max Freed. And an early 6-0 lead for the right-hander Brandon Fawn, who beat the Rockies in the season debut last Sunday. 3-2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a sweeper. The go-to for Fawn this season and really his career in the major leagues grounded left side it's Alexander the shortstop who has it and the throw to first is low but an easy scoop by Walker at the bag Riley is out and the inning is over one two three go the Braves in the first three four five here for Arizona after they sent 11 men to the plate in the first inning well Max Fried much better start here to the second inning as he makes Guriel look a little foolish on that pitch that's really good execution of what we're talking about breaking pitches when you get into two strikes and 
Wow. Well, that was perfectly placed. Back to back strikeouts. He looks like a different pitcher this inning. Oh, he's angry. And he's pitching a little angry, and you can see it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like you said, probably a little shell shocked what happened in that first inning. 3 2 pitch on the way. And there's a called third strike right at the top of the zone with a changeup. Suarez can't believe it. He's got his hands on his hips. He hasn't left the box and continues to argue with Martin Rippinger. Ozzy first pitch. Walker knocks it down. Fought, covers, but he dropped it. So runners at first and second. The bobble by Fott keeps the inning going. Is that the official bobble sign? Yeah, that's my favorite. That's like the, <laughs> you never see that too much in baseball. You see him football with the bobbled catch. The umpire gives that. Kalnick at second. Albies at first. Two outs for Riley. First pitch that hangs up behind second for Marte. And Cattell has got it. Three scoreless in Atlanta for Brandon Fawn in a 6 0 lead. Matt Olson, the lead off of the Braves in the bottom of the fourth inning. Matt walked his last time up. Two on pitch, cracked down the left field line, slicing towards the corner, and a fair ball right on the chalk. And that'll bounce over the wall for a ground rule double. Here we go. Lead off double for Matt Olson. That was right on the chalk. Just a plume of chalk puffing up off the ground as that bounced over the wall. And that'll bring Marcel Ozuna up to the plate. Ozuna the other way. Fair ball. Olsen around third. The Braves are on the board. And Marcel's got two. Two things here for Marcel. First of all, it was a really nice piece of hitting. It's almost the same pitch, maybe not quite as much break. Two strikes, he goes the other way. And then watching this ball go down the line, I think he was really hoping it was going to hit that small sidewall. He would have got the second easily when he realized that wasn't going to happen. He had to bust it. Look where he is when that ball is picked up. So still nobody out. And now Michael Harris. Hard hit ball out to first, right on down the line, past the diving Christian Walker. Here comes Ozuna. He's going to come in and score. Harris thinking about three, flying around second. Here he comes at third base, and he goes in standing. It's an RBI triple, and he was going around the bases faster than polished steel, and it's now a 6-2 ball game. Great base running. He cut the bags beautifully. He knew he had a double. But for some reason, McCarthy had a little trouble. And I think the ball just stuck in the corner and didn't come back out to it. After what happened here last night, I got two words for you. Tack on. Yeah. Let's tack on a few more. 2-2. Two -two. Abby reaches out, pokes it to second. Free yeah. throws it away. Suarez coming home. Grichik into third, and it's 7-2. Max Freed, three gold gloves in his career, and he threw that into the outfield. And that will be it for Max Freed. Brian Stinker out to take the baseball. It's been a rough start to 2024 for the Braves left-hander. Jake shoots one out toward right. Acuna is on the move. It drops in front. Richick is home. It's 8-2. to two. McCarthy with an RBI double. His second in this series. Left on left, no problem. Jake's bat is really starting to make some noise. These are two runs that the Braves cannot let get away. The attention turns to the Big Bear, Marcelo Zuna. This ball is hit high. It is hit deep. Does it have enough? It's gone. The Big Bear with a big fly. And it's 8-5. to five. Well, CJ, he took that approach, unfortunately, for five. He spun it right down the middle of the plate. Not a good one. You just can't make that kind of mistake to this kind of hitter, the way that he's locked in right now. We already showed you he can hit the good one off the plate for a base hit. If you're going to throw that pitch, he is not going to give you that cookie. First pitch with a couple of runners in scoring position. And what a different April this has been here in 2024. Yeah, just a little bit. For Marcelo Zuna. And that will bring up Matt Olson. He's had a couple of homers this year, one yesterday. Olsen singles to right field. Bobbled and right. Riley was going to score regardless. It's eight to six. And that's a beautiful job. That tough, tough pitch to cover in. And you see how quick he pulled those hands through. Big spot for Harris. He did have an RBI triple back in the fourth. First pitch, single to right field. Olsen around third. Throw is off target. He is safe. And folks, we have a one run ball game. Ronald one for four, a single back in the fifth. Frias with the 0 1. To the right side, and it gets through past Marte. Kelvin's coming home. Oh, the ball oh, is wow. dropped in right. And the Braves, once down six, have tied it at eight in the eighth. 
Lefty was trying to throw that ball home, and it just slipped right out of his hand. The go-ahead run moves to third base at Acuna. Infield in, here is Austin Riley. And it's through the left side! And Atlanta has come all the way back to take the lead! Can you believe it? Listen to these fans. It was six to nothing, it was also eight to two. But these fans know their team, not a soul left. They've come charging all the way back. Right side of Glacius on. As right side goes for his first save in 2024. Hard hit. RC has got it. To his feet. Perfect throw. Braves win. The comeback is complete. What a night for this offense. Picking up, of course, Max Reed with the rough start.